Good help is hard to find, especially if you're talking about PC tech support. From the PC novice to the advanced user, I've got something for everyone. And the best part is there's no special software to install. My first pick of the web is something called warp2search.net. It can be found at warp2search.net. One of my favorite websites pretty much of all time because I can go there anytime, day or night, and get the latest headlines. Everything between software updates, so it tells me that this software, BlindWrite, which is a great way to burn CDs, is updated. It's talking about Service Pack 4 for Windows 2000. I can keep scrolling down. Oh, look, the new version of the Java runtime environment is out from Sun. This is a great resource if you want to stay up to date on not only operating system files, but games as well. They constantly have uh, links to new games and screenshots and video cards that are coming out. In fact, look at that, new .NET build. That's the new uh, architecture that Microsoft's trying to develop. Warp. To search.net comes highly recommended. Now, I would also recommend that you have a pop-up killer running in the background because they, they send pop-ups like a lot of free sites do to support themselves. The next website I'd like to tell you about is another one that I've been reading for many years, Active Win. Active win.com and this one is pretty much all about Windows. In fact, they just said, oh, and even about Mac too. Microsoft posts Mac IntelliPoint 3.1 mouse driver, something I'm going to need to download for my iMac. I can keep scrolling down. They've got links to articles that everything is happening about Microsoft. In fact, if I scroll down just a little further from last night's posts, I want to show you something. Oh, yeah, look at this. Lotus Founder preps Outlook alternative. Really cool news. These guys were the first to post. Look how much they posted. Unbelievable. This is what I was looking for, though. I found out within minutes of Microsoft releasing MSN that the new version 8.0 is out, thanks to ActiveWin.com, a great resource, wonderful resource. Now, if you're looking for guides to help you along within Windows software updates, or if you're trying to learn more about the Windows registry, WinGuides dot com would be the place for you. They've got a registry guide, security guide, scripting guide, you know, driver guide. Great for not only experts but novices as well. So again, if you want to get in and learn more about what makes Windows tick, you can come here for a wonderful amount of tips. WinGuides.com. One of the last ones I'm going to show you right now is a website that is full of tons of help. Uh, and they've got message boards, they've got tutorials, PC 911, you think of it kind of like an emergency. If you're having problems, you want to learn about BIOS flashing or home networking, or you need to know more about securing Windows, they've got a help forum. They've even got lists of freeware and how to's. It's wonderful. In fact, look at this it's a human outreach. You can fight cancer. You can learn how to fight cancer at this website. So it's not just for computer stuff, but it's a great resource. Another one, the one I'm going to tail out with, is showing you how to add the Microsoft news groups. Now you're saying, what do you mean? What are you, news groups? What are you talking about? Well, you've probably got Outlook Express on your system if you're running Windows. And not only can you check email with it, but you can also add news groups as well. Look at all that spam. This is all we get at our, at our email address, I swear. So we're going to add a new account by going to Tools, Accounts in the menu. And then we're going to flip over to News, Add News. And then the display name doesn't matter. Call for help. Email address, call for help at techtv.com. Then it asks us for a news, NNTP server. We type in msnews.microsoft.com. Don't worry about this check mark about logging on. Press next, and that's it. We're finished. When we press close, it's going to ask us if we want to download new news groups. We say yes. And what it'll do is connect to Microsoft's news ser server and pull in all those news groups. So if we were looking for stationary, so I'm going to type in just part of it. This is really kind of neat. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to double click this to add it to my list, the stationary news group. And what these guys do, it's really neat when you go in here, it'll download all the messages in the thread. And what they do is they make stationary and share it with each other. And let's see if I can find one, a really good one that's animated. It's got music like this one and graphics. And then you can download this and use this stationary on your computer through this news group. It's really, really cool. And a lot of people don't really know about it. I'll put those instructions specifically in our newsletter. That's the only, where, only place you're going to get it. But if you're looking for the other help sites that I like, they're listed on our website. You can head to techtv.com slash call for help to get more of that.